Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Once again, I've combined my passions for sports and electronics. Um, this time to make the sp speed bag punch counter. This is great um, if you have a competition with your friends or if you just want to keep track of your workouts. Um, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Duct Tape Mechanic, for more DIY and tinkering videos. I've had this old speed bag platform sitting at the side of my house for a couple of years now. Um, I believe it originally came from one of those units that has the heavy bag and speed bag attached to one large unit. Anyways, the theme of my channel is to reuse and repurpose stuff, so instead of just throwing this away, I decided to make this um, device. I used an old metal bed frame that I got for free to make a mounting frame for the speed bag. Uh, metal bed frames are great because they're free, but uh, they do require a little bit of work because all the rivets and casters have to be removed. On top of that, the finishing the finishing material on top of, on the frame has to be grinded away before it can be welded. Um, but I was happy how it turned out, and I spray painted it and I mounted it to the side of my shed. At the heart of the build is a NPN capacitive sensor, which would detect the speed bag once it approaches it. The NPN sensor is mounted in a way which it will be flush to the surface of the speed bag platform while the the hole I use to bore the sensor into is larger than the diameter of the sensor face. This will prevent it from falsely sensing the platform and being triggered. Next, I mounted all the electrical components, including the two battery packs, the breadboard, the Arduino, and the screen, and then I wired up everything. The 12 volt power supply goes to the power rail on the breadboard. From there it goes through a current limiting 1 kilo ohm resistor. The resistor is hooked to the anode of a PC817 optocoupler. This optocoupler is what allows us to use this uh, 12 volt NPN capacitive sensor with the Arduino. The cathode side of the PC817 is hooked to the output of the sensor. So when the sensor out is triggered, the output sinks to zero because this is an NPN sensor, allowing current to light the internal LED of the optocoupler. When the light of the LED hits the base of the phototransistor inside the P817, current goes from the collector to the emitter, causing pin number two to be grounded and to go low. Since I'm using an internal pull-up resistor on pin number two, no resistor is needed in the circuit. And then all of this is displayed on the LCD. All right, so the way this works is the speed bag, once you punch it, it should go close to the sensor and that should register as one and so on and so forth. So that should be one there, then two, come back here, you hit it again, three, four, and so forth. All right, let's put this to the real test and see it in action. 